Here's the problem. I mean, I'm okay with a, a, you know, with a structured curriculum, but you don't want to be like captive uh, 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 of that because what that tells you is basically like, imagine I like say, okay, here are my learning objectives, tick, 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 tick. And by the end, you'll be able to tick, 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 tick. What that presupposes is that I know in advance what you're going to need to know later. And I would just say, that is not how my life has worked. And is that how your life has worked? I mean, my goodness. So, I mean, I, I'm okay with having learning objectives. And, and, you know, like I could go back into the examples that I gave and I could unpack them at a really molecular level in behavioral terms because I have fantastic behavior analysis training. But, you know, we've got an hour and I want to speak to you in ways that are, are uh, readily understood. Um, I would say um, get some varied experience, uh, uh, you know, kinds of training experience. A boot camp is a nice one because you get several trainers. Of course, this is, is like when travel becomes a thing again. Um, you know, like if you do like the ACT boot camp, there's, I know there's the ones for behavior analysts, but I wouldn't worry too much about going. I mean, it's fine to go to the one for behavior analysts, but I would say it's totally fine to go to the one that is, you know, supposedly for clinicians. Any, I've had attorneys, uh, you know, I mean, uh, m- evolutionary biologists. I had a physicist once, you know, I mean, this is human stuff and you don't have to be a therapist to understand it. If you want to see how it applies to your work setting, the answer to that is almost certainly going to be coming from you. (laughs) You know, learn the principles and then go into this setting and, you know, start to... uh, so I, I had somebody interview me about like, how do I start using ACT and how do I learn ACT so that I can go use ACT? And they're thinking about ACT as this kind of um, cake recipe. And I would say, you know, that's kind of a, not a very interesting version of ACT anyway. Um, but to learn the principles, you know, you can start today because like if I, you know, like how much training do you need? to really ask in a sincere way of a client, what do you really love? You know, in, you know, if, if something really cool could start to develop in your life, you know, what's the very beginnings of that look like? I mean, of course you can, you know, and so there are parts of the model that I think don't require that much training, but the, the best way now to do like a psychotherapy, but, you know, you need training in that, but to take like slices of the model, like perspective taking, uh, values, um, the kind of development of, you know, like what does this pattern look like? How, how do I fall off of it? You know, how could I return? I, you know, I think the best way is to get into an experience like that where you kind of learn, act from the inside out. So I'd, you know, go to trainings, go to more than one person's training, Mm -hmm. um, read the books, um, and, you know, and you'll, and you'll get the flavor of some different, um, uh, trainers doing the work and talking about the work and, and, you know, and time takes time. You know, like, uh, like I'm a, a barefoot trail runner, um, I, which I took up um, uh, trail running. I soon transitioned to barefoot trail running uh, when I was 60. So, I mean, it's a little over five years. And um, when I'm out there on the trail, I'm mean, live in Arizona. So, like, every, plants in Arizona are required to have uh, thorns, um, spikes, spines, you know, something like that. It's like a law. And so there's a lot of things that you have to step lightly. And uh, like when I'm moving on that trail, um, my foot is 
there's a kind of an intimacy of that sort of dance between my foot and the ground, you know, where even if I step on something I shouldn't have stepped on, my foot will transition, you know, to some other, you know, midfoot or to the side or I'll come off of it, you know, onto the other foot. So I'm out on these kind of wild trails. Behavior is like that also. You know, it, it, it doesn't just sort of follow along in this track. And it requires this kind of intimacy. You need to get close to the behavior. You know, like imagine I was sending you into a room uh, and I say, here's your reinforcers for this person. They, they really like banana chips. And you might say, well, when should I give them a banana chip? Well, you should give them at minute three. Set. No, you wouldn't do that. You have to watch behavior. And you have to watch is it, you know, is this like a good moment to drop that reinforcer in there? You know, or is this a good moment to let the schedule lean out just a little bit? How do you learn those things? Well, you learn those things by practice and immersion in them. Um, so I'd read it. And then the wonderful bit of immersion is you have it in your own life. You know, see how these apply in your own life, in your work, in your personal relationships. You know, that, that is a great place to learn principles.